Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my June bullet journal setup. Today I will be doing a reputation theme um, because that coordinates with my Year of Arrows theme setups, which I've been doing since January. Um, and you can go and watch all the previous parts. Um, but now we're up to the sixth month, so the sixth album, Reputation. This is my second favorite album. Um, I think my favorite song is probably Getaway Car, which is definitely a fan favorite, so makes sense. Um, but I also like some of the less popular ones, like This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things. Um, and I also, of course, like Ready For It and Look What, Ma Look what You Made Me Do. Anyway. Um, I am starting out with my goals and habits page. I have this on my cover page so I don't just make a cover page and then never look at it again. Um, that's what I kind of did before because I always put like a quote or something on that page and then I never went back to it. But I like my cover pages generally and I want to go back to them. So I decided to move my habits, um, especially because there were only four of them this year to the page beside my cover page. I'm using a black Tombow, a Micron pen, and a silver gel pen this month, and I decided to use, of course, a snake for the cover page, the main symbol of reputation, iconic, you know, all that. So I used a Pinterest reference, of course, that's what I've been doing pretty much this whole year. Um, and for the font that you can kind of see that I used for June, I also just used that from Pinterest um, because I am not smart enough to come up with that on my own. As you already know, I always sketch out my themes beforehand um, because I will not be freehanding these drawings. That is a no-no. Um, but I am now filling in the snake with my black pen and then I'm going to go over it with a silver gel pen to kind of draw some scales on it. Uh, make it look a little more snake-like. I don't know if they have scales. Do they have scales? Whatever. Snake skin pattern. So the first gel pen that I was using died. Um, it stopped working, which was a little bit depressing. Um, it kind of revived in the middle, but then it just like failed again. So I did end up borrowing my sister's pen. She has like a hundred pack of gel pens. So I just borrowed the silver one. Um, shout out to my sister for the gel pen. Anyway, here's a new one, and now let's start this um, strenuous task. Um, but I actually really like how it turned out. I think the metallic effect of this pen really added to it. And I think it turned out looking pretty good. And yeah. I didn't want to just use black for this theme, um, because though that is kind of the main color of reputation, it also has a lot of silver and gray 
um, but I did want to differentiate it from folklore, so I used um, kind of a metallic -y or glittery pen, so it was more like a silver and not a gray. Yeah. Now I just wanted to talk a little bit about my May, um, and I also wanted to ask you how your May went, and any, you know, goals you have for June or things that you're excited for. Um, my May was very busy. I had a dance competition, um, and dance recital, or, well, I'm going to have one next weekend, but, you know, slay. Um, but in the middle, there was a nice long weekend, um, and that was pretty nice. Um, but I didn't do too much, like, writing in May because I didn't have that much time. I wrote a little bit, but not enough to make a video. So the next writing vlog will probably be the end of June, probably. Um, but then I should get back into writing, especially in the summer, because, you know, I won't be doing anything. Um, yeah, but I did have to try the gel pen, so just ignore that. Um, yeah. So, my June is probably going to be calm, calmer, um, but I do have, you know, like, math exam and stuff, so. That will be great, but school ends at the end of June for us. Um, I really don't know why we have to go so long, but whatever. Oh yeah, I put a lined piece of paper there just so the gel pen wouldn't smudge. I didn't think it would, but case. Um, and now we're moving on to my calendar. Um, you can see the font for this is just the uppercase version of the font I used for the cover page. Um, I wanted to get used out of both types of letters because they were both cool. I think, honestly, Taylor won't release Reputation Taylor's version until next year, like following the pattern. But I do think there's a chance she'll announce it as some of, like, the last shows. Um, and if you didn't know, I'm going to Vancouver Night 3, and that's so far the last show. So, maybe I'll get a little reputation announcement. Yeah, but now I'm filling in the calendar with some dots for the background of the numbers. Um, and if you notice that I'm, like, looping around, it's because I have my tripod in the middle instead of to the side. Um, let me know if you like that better than at the side. Um, but I did have to like, you know, go around it a little bit, so just ignore that. Overall, I really liked how this theme turned out. I think it kind of fulfilled the vision, which was good. Um, I'm not the best artist that you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, I think it was decent. Yeah. It's pretty crazy that it's almost June, like almost halfway through 2024. It literally feels like it was January yesterday. Um, but I'm definitely excited for it to get a bit warmer. It was, like, kind of warm here, and then now it's back to being cold, which is a little annoying. Not, like, cold, obviously. It's, it's like, 14. Um, but, like, that's the high, and I'd rather the high be, like, 17. Um, I am also using this white pen. I think it's a moo no, it's a jelly roll, I think. Um, and I'm using it to go over the black pen um, because it will stand out just a little bit more than the gray pen. But it does take a bit to dry. Um, and you do have to do two coats because otherwise you can't see it. Usually, I try and incorporate, like, color somewhere into my June theme because, you know, it's like Pride Month and stuff, and starting to be summer, so 
colorful vibes but um that did not line up missed it by one month you know lover is next is next not well it's may stuff for me so not next month. lover is july so missed it by a month but i still think this fits june you know it's kind of the, the end grind of school gotta get through your exams finals i'm not excited for my math final y'all disgusting But, um, let me know what videos you'd like to see in June. Um, I'll probably be doing a school vlog as the year wraps up. And a writing vlog. And, of course, my July setup. But, um, let me know if you want to see, like, or even annotate with me. Or, like, some sort of reading vlog. Or, like, a second one of any type of video. Or a new, a new video. I don't usually film, so just just let me know and can maybe make that happen. Anyway, now I'm working on my gratitude, so I try and write down one thing every day that I'm grateful for, and I try not to repeat things, so like, if I say one day that I'm grateful that we had a PD day, like we didn't go to school, um, but then there's also one like two weeks that I can't say the same thing. Yeah, so I just try and find something every day that I'm grateful for. Um, and now we're on my weekly spread for the first week of June, which is, again, a little bit weird to be saying that it's June, like, next week. Um, I don't like that. Oh, well. Anyway, now we're on to the final flip through. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you next week. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you want to. Um, and I hope you have a good day and a good June.